Welcome to another edition of the True North Country Comics Podcast, dedicated to promote Canadian comic book creators and supporters. I'm John Swinimer. On this episode, I have another interview from Fan Expo 2017, this time with David H. Ross. David is an illustrator who has worked with all the major North American comic book publishers, including Marvel Comics, DC Comics, and Dark Horse Comics. However, for this conversation, David provides an overview of the Sequential Arts Diploma Program at Maximut College of Animation and how an artist can get the necessary skills to succeed in the comic book industry. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to encourage you to like this podcast on iTunes and definitely check out the TrueNorthCountryComics.com website. Like it on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and discover a lot more information about Canadian comic book creators and supporters. And now, David H. Ross. Yeah, the Sequential Arts uh, Curriculum at Max the Mutt College of Animation, Art, and Design is very comprehensive. We tried very hard in our programming to make it as complete as possible for the for the student in terms of the uh, the disciplines that they learn the ladies that founded the school were very big on very classic traditional skills being learned by the students in terms of drawing and painting and so i think with our school drawing fundamentals come first students get a good grounding in technical perspective as well as character design and character drafting uh, one of the school's uh, specialties is freehand figure drawing. That's something that I, I teach the students, and I actually have a book out on that same topic, freehand figure drawing for illustrators. And it's so important because I think whether you're going into concept art or animation or sequential arts, you need that ability to be able to draw literally off the top of your head any pose, any any camera angle that may be required and feel comfortable doing it and that's something that is a very specific very challenging skill to learn at the school we try really hard to make sure that the students go out with those kinds of versatile talents but beyond that um, and what's really exciting is that we're working towards a fourth year in our program so it'll be a four-year diploma program the only one of its kind certainly in Canada um, and uh, in that particular program, we will be trying to to challenge the students on other areas as well as the figure drawing, as well as doing technical backgrounds. They'll be getting specialized knowledge in how to deal with freehand folds in clothing, the drapery, which is so important to be able to draw as well, and also special effects, things such as being able to draw water and clouds in the sky and fire and ice and lightning and smoke and anything that you can imagine that you'd need to deal with in terms of those secondary or what I would call soft effects um, that need to be drawn. Some schools will overlook that and just focus on the characters, but you need to be well-rounded when you come out. You need to feel like you can tackle any challenge that comes at you. So the sequential arts uh, course as well teaches inking, so you learn penciling and inking, and there's a heavy dose of design for graphic novels as well. And graphic novels is definitely the way to go these days. It's, it has been sort of become more and more important over the years for students to learn to be creative and do their own design and development work. And at Max the Mutt, we're re- working really hard to give students the skills, whether they are going into anime, whether they're going into doing indie comics of their own and doing their own graphic novels, whether they're going to be working uh, on mainstream books for major publishers, all of those skills they're going to need, and that's that's what the course is all about. So I'm very pleased and, and honored to be part of that group, and of course it's just amazing, having been there for a number of years now, to see how much the students develop in their skills during the relatively short time that they're that they're there learning at the school. It's incredible. The uh, the staff is so excellent. The faculty is wonderful with them, and you just see a huge leaps forward for most of the students in their work. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks to David for talking with me. You can discover more about David at DaveRossArt.com. You can find more information about the school at www.maxthemutt with two T's, dot com. And thanks to you for listening to the True North Country Comics podcast. I invite you to subscribe, like, and comment on the podcast. And please send your feedback to truenorthcountrycomics at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening, and come back soon for another episode. Bye for now.